Okay, so I think people know what a Barnes and Nobles is, but I mean, like, if you're not, you know, American, equivalent to a Barnes and Nobles is a Waterstones. So yeah, it's basically like a bookstore where they sell a bunch of other stuff. You know? right, so one day, me and my sister were going Christmas shopping. You know, doing doing the Lord, uh, not the Lord's work, but we're just we're going Christmas shopping because it's Christmas coming up and we need presents pronto. So where do we go? We go to Barnes and Noble because guess what the Barnes and Nobles has? Legos. So we decided to go in there, search the place, you know, see what's see what's happening, you know? And we're searching. We go in there, there's like a couple people, like probably like ten, just wandering around, you know? And I was like, Oh, this is fine, this is fine, right? All of a sudden, more and more people start coming in while we're searching the place, you know, looking for toys and stuff like that for Christmas. And we're looking, we're looking, we're wandering around, you know. And then all of a sudden, when we're like, we're going like, like, cross the store by going through section to section of like, the toy area, stuffed animals, all this stuff. And then we start getting, you know, a little closer to the manga section and the, you know, all the plushies and stuff like that that are part of like, you know, anime, you know, there was like a little pochita and I was like, damn, that pochita looks so cute. And I was like, I want that, you know? So I, I started, wa I started walking over, you know, doing my thing, just walking over me like, Ooh, look, it's pochita. And I was like, Oh, this is so cute. And then I start walking and then these like couple of people who I'm not going to say, but like, I'm not going to say what, but you know, they're very, I didn't know that this was possible living in the middle of nowhere, but very stereotypical what you might see in like an anime con, which is like, go all ahead. I don't care. It's just like, it was so weird to me that I would see that, you know, in this middle of town where everybody looks exactly the same. So, you know, I'm seeing, I'm over there looking at the Pochita and then they start walking over and then I'm like, I give them a little Midwestern smile, you know, just a little and then we keep it going, you know? <laughs> and as they're walking, so they're walking behind me, you know, they're like walking, shoop, and then all of a sudden, a gust of wind. <laughs> gust of wind. And when I tell you, these people did not stink, they stank, <laughs> like, stank, crazy, crazy. I was like, oh, like I, oh my God. I was like, damn, do these people not know what deodorant is? Do people not know what cologne, perfume, perfume, like Febreze, bro, like <laughs> something? And I was like, damn, these people smell like a little gym locker, like a middle school gym locker. And I don't want to be like that person. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. Okay, so like, let me, let me, let me, like, I have this like rational fear that I'm gonna stink. Like, that's my thing. It's like, I'm always, I'm always wearing lotion. I have deodorant on like crazy. Like, I, like, I don't even, like, I don't stink. But it's just like, it's an irrational fear that's like, if I walk by someone that they're gonna be like, God damn. Like, <laughs> that's like the thing. It's just like, I don't want to be that person that stinks. So I'm like, perfume, lotion, deodorant. I take showers, you know? Like, look at me, I just came from a shower. Like, I just like, I don't know. I just have this irrational fear that I'm going to smell. And I was like, don't other people have that? Like, I don't know. Comment down below if you have the same same thing as me. And I was like, damn. Damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> to these people. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I'm just over here, like, looking, looking at the Pachita, you know, just looking at the random stuff, you know. And I was over here like, oh, mm-hmm. And I just kept perusing, and I was like, okay, I gotta leave. <laughs> like, damn. I was like, damn, I feel like I'm getting a headache. I feel like I have second-hand smoke. I feel like I have lung cancer now. So I leave, and I go to my sister, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, have a nice day. So we leave. We, I'm over there next to the calendars for some reason with my sister she's looking through everything looking at the planners and i was like we gotta go <laughs> we got to leave right you're probably wondering you're like probably like Kaden, why didn't you why didn't you say something you know you're probably not wondering that because like why would you like i'm not a very confrontational person like i i will stick it out you know i'll stick it out or i'll move like that's my like i'll that's that's my vibe so much, I'm trying not to be confrontational, you know, like I'm trying to make space, you know, when it comes to things, right? But I'm not going to go up to that person and be like, God, 
girl, you stank, bro. Go take a shower or something. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. You know, <laughs> like, I'm not gonna do that. Which is probably like a bad thing, because now they're just walking around, stanking up the place. But like, it's it's fine. It's fine. Do your thing. People are just not wanting to be by you, and that's probably the reason. Also, another thing. Spatial awareness. We need to talk about this. Because as the, what else happened in Barnes and Nobles is that people just lack spatial awareness for some reason. It's not like we were in like a whole entire quarantine and we had like corona everywhere. It's not like that was happening like three years ago and people just forgot how to be a person. And it was crazy is that, that people are just so lacking spatial awareness especially in the Barnes and Noble oh my god so while we're continuing the story that happened and now my sister's is like let's go pay right so we're in line I'm holding a bunch of stuff you know just like perusing so I'm like holding a box of I don't remember I think it was like a like a lava lamp or something I was just holding it and you know just holding the stuff while we're in this line and then all of a sudden this these like women come like find us because that's how a line works <laughs> and these people these women like come behind us and i'm like okay that's cool right it's a line so we're walking um and i'm holding my stuff and then all of a sudden i get like brushed by this woman's stuff on the back of my like on my back right and it's a box so it's like like it's not like scratching me but it's like it like you know it just like brushes the back of my back and i'm like damn like, why are you so close and so i'm like okay i'm taking little baby steps up and i'm thinking she'll get the idea that i don't want her to brush her stuff now, like on my back you know like don't want her stuff touching me and i don't know if that sounds weird <laughs> like i don't know if that sounds weird that it's just like i don't want this person touching me but it's like i don't want to get annoyed by this person's box because she's like swaying around she's talking to like the ladies that she's with and and I don't, I don't, I don't want her stuff touching me. So I was like, I moved up a little bit. And then she moves up a little bit. And it's not like I take a big step and then she comes in like halfway. No, it was like baby steps and then baby steps next to me. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so then I'm like, okay. Because it's like, why is she like right here? Right here while I'm here. And you're like, why are you breathing on my neck? Like, why are you there? So I'm like, okay. And so as I'm, like, walking more forward to, like, my sisters and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, why are you so close to me? Like, what if I had COVID? What if I had, like, a sickness and you're just right next to me? Like, you're, and then you're going to be like, I don't know why I got sick. It's probably because you're, t like, you're literally, like, right next to me. Like, we are literally almost going to, inf like, we're going to fuse, like, Steven Universe. Like, that's exactly what's going to happen. So, you know, I'm just like, okay right and i'm like i don't really like this anymore because it's making me uncomfortable and i don't i'm not and i said it before i am not a confrontational person but i will start doing things that might give you the idea that i'm not really wanting this to happen i don't know so <laughs> i'm like okay so what do i do i start swinging the box as i'm talking to my sister like i'm going shoop shoop just moving the box you know, doing like a base, like basically doing Pilates in this freaking line, right? And I'm moving it. It brushes against her and her boxes, right? And I'm like, maybe she'll get the idea. We need space if, if we're hitting each other, you know? No, <laughs> she doesn't get the idea. Because she looks at me, she's like, are you serious? Then a couple people move up, you know, I space myself with the little, little, I don't know what it's called. It's like a little thing filled with like little things it's like i don't know it's like a jewelry you know one of those jewelry spinner things it just instead of that it just had gift like like envelopes that said happy how like happy holidays and stuff like that and i spaced myself between that and the in the, and like the line right and i spaced myself she stays over there i'm over here so we're good anyways we pay for our stuff we leave <laughs> that that was the end what was that story so I'll tell you another story. This does not involve Barnes and Nobles. This involves Plato's Closet. If you've never been to Plato's Closet, it's like Goodwill. Like if Goodwill or like a thrift store, it's just that. It's just it's just higher quality stuff because it's 
more you get more expensive stuff. Like instead of going to Goodwill, you would go to Plato's Closet and they would have like Nike, Under Armour, you know, Gymshark and they would have like Princess Polly and stuff like that, right? They'll have like more of the n- like known brands instead of something from the thrift store that's like vintage. But like, they'll have good quality stuff, you know, basically. Sometimes they have Jordans. So it's like a higher higher end thrift store not really depending on where you are i mean we go to the rich area so it is higher end (laughs) they were so easy oh that was crazy but yeah so yeah right we're going to plato's closet and this is not the one that's in the rich area it's just like a middle class area i guess and so we're there we're shopping around the plato's closet store has so much clothes that the aisles are like so close together like you see this closet this is basically like this is basically the space you have to walk in between clothes and another pair of clothes like it's two clothing racks right it's really short space like only one person could probably like walk around freely in between these like aisles and like if there was a second person you would be like super like you would be touching and bumping shoulders with the other person you would be shoulder checking them so it's not like an ideal two-person lane kind of thing you know so basically i'm in, i'm shopping i'm like looking through the things you know and i'm very close to the clothes like i'm basically in them like i'm basically in the clothes and i'm hiding like when you're three years like when you're five years old and you're hiding from your mom and you're in the closing racks it's basically what i'm doing right now and i'm like inside the clothes like looking them like this like i'm looking like ooh, cool under armor cool like Victoria's Secret. I don't know. I'm just like looking. I hear like a like like shoes, you know, as I'm like looking through these clothes. I hear shoes coming. So I'm like, okay, so someone's coming over here. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe she's just gonna go to a different aisle. She's, you know, I don't know what she's doing. So I'm thinking she's going somewhere else, right? No, she decides to physically put her hand on me. Excuse me, por favor. And I'm like, she's like, excuse me touches my shoulder we're basically like her when she said excuse me her head was like right here it was right here and i heard it because she was like whispering it in my ear like she was really hush she was like excuse me and i was like there's like 10 other aisles basically there's like five other aisles you could have gone to instead of going right where i am and like if we went back to covid covid times it would be one person per aisle. That's how it was in Play-Dohs and how, that's how it was in like Savers or something. Savers is like a thrift store. But that's how it was. It was like one person per aisle could be in the aisle and you would just wait your turn or you would be in the next aisle and you can swoop around and go in there, right? I don't know if this sounds like me being a bitch, but sorry, this is just how I am. But, you know. And so, yeah, this person is like, excuse me, right next to my ear. And I was like, oh, my God, right? And I'm basically in the clothes. Like, there's not a lot of space here. And I'm saying, like, if you're seeing this on camera, it's not really a big space. I'm about, like, five feet tall. And this is a closet. So it's just like, so there's, like, not a lot of space. Just say, if there was two average people walking in this aisle, you would be, like, shoulder checking. Like, real bad. Like, right here. Like, that's crazy and she was like excuse me and then she brushes her body like on mine basically like i feel her like chest on my back and i'm like ah damn like okay yeah and you know i just got uncomfortable i didn't say anything i was like oh okay you know and you know she was just like she walks away right and then i'm like okay so then I'm, I went over to my sister and I, I told her about the situation. We're like, damn, that lady, she just touched me <laughs> like, over in the aisles. And like, they're super small. Like they're, it's giving, like, it's giving Brandy Melville, like Paris door. That's how big the door, that's how big the aisles are, right? That's how it is. And so I'm like, okay. And I'm talking to my sister and blah, 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 and like all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, two women, it's the same woman and her friend walk like behind us again <laughs> and i was like that's the lady <laughs> you know and i was like okay and so then we left because there wasn't really good stuff i mean i think my sister got like a like a bathing suit i think that was it but yeah we just left not because of the women but because of just there's not 
this Play-Doh closet wasn't really hitting it. You know, it wasn't really good. So, yeah. Walking that bitch get critical, dance moves hit so hard, shit crucial. Walking that bitch get critical, dance moves hit so hard, shit crucial.